to appear in a child of the week ad in a newspaper. The photographer's on his way now. Oh, cool, let's go and buy some new clothes before he gets uh, it. Uh, but Tracy, it's not really about looks, it's more about personality. Good job they didn't choose you then. You called a house meeting to talk about vegetables. <laughs> uh, Jenny thinks she should eat more. Well, I just wondered what you thought. But we only like fries. True. Jenny wants us to explore the territory around vegetables that come in a colour. Like green. Oh, that's great news. The newspaper's offered us some extra space. Now Louise can have an ad too. Oh, no, I really object to this buy one, get one free approach alone. You know, these are children, not special offers in a supermarket. Children who need foster parents, Jenny. Let's not forget that. Yes, we're working here. It's hardly likely, is it? Tracy's going to be very disappointed to find out that she's not the only one. Oh, she'll be fine. Once she sees the ad I've written. What, you've written it without even talking to her? I can't believe the only vegetables you guys can come up with are baked beans. Sorry, Duke. Could I borrow Louise? What's wrong with baked beans? They make you. Thank you, Maxie. They're not green, and they come in a tin. Duke's right. Why don't you make broccoli or cabbage? I told you she was wacko. We well, want to eat stuff like that. I don't. But I'm not going to be here, because I've just been made Child of the Week, and my ad is going to be so totally brilliant that there'll be a flood of people desperate to foster me. And I'll be able to choose the richest, handsomest, spawny most parents. There'll be so many of them, they'll bribe me to pick them with all sorts of flashy presents. I reckon they'll have to lay on counsellors for the people I turn down. they will be so upset when I reject them, because all of them are going to be dying to take me home. <laughs> then racing to bring you back again, just like the last time. Uh. I'd hate to live in a strange house with, well, strangers. Lucky they picked me instead of you, then weed. So Elaine, the glorious pains, in there now telling Louise. She hasn't given it a second thought what it's going to do to Tracy. Yeah, well, we'd better be ready with the bandages. change your mind the minute you've told it. You're still child of the week, Tracy. But now Louise is too. Then I'm not child of the week, am I? Because two childs make a children. Any thicko knows that. Stop whinging. It's only a stupid ad no one cares about. You would care if you were child of the week, which or not. I don't need to be, because I've got a dad. Tracy's got a mum? Yes, but my dad visits, unlike her invisible mum. She is not invisible! That's enough! Tracy. She started it. Don't know why they're getting all the fuss anyway. Cos we're Childs of the Week, so we're special, and you're not. Coming, Louise. OK, here's what we should play. All these kids are grinning their heads off, so we should look sad. Sort of puppy in a pet shop look. All the foster parents will want to come and rescue us. That's dead clever, Trace. Like I'd want to come to your stinky pit, I came to rescue Louise. We're discussing important Child of the Week business, which doesn't include you. <laughs> I don't know why you're bothering. Nobody will pick you once they see how pretty Louise is. It's not about looks, it's about personality. We were friends long before you got here. It's going to take more than that to split us up. Ta-da! Ugh, looks like an explosion in a bogey factory. Mm, that looks gross. <laughs> this from the girl who asked for broccoli. Give them a try. You might like them. Tracy, I can't. Mmm, 
Duke, you're right, they're delicious. So we're good. them into sticks, you dip them in butter and then you fry them. Really? Yeah. So, how are we doing in here? Fine. My courgette chips have gone down a storm. Great. Tracy, when you finish, the photographer's here. Sorry people, moustache. The press hate it when you keep them waiting. So, you know what we're after, don't you, Brian? Sure. I do this sort of stuff all the time. Ah, oh, Tracy, say hello to Brian. Hello, sweetheart. What's your name? Hope you paid more attention than that to my photo. I'm Tracy. Elaine just said so. Tracy? There, she did it again. Right, well, let's give it a go then, shall we? Tracy, you're trying to get fostered, not applying for a job as an undertaker. So, do you want the full just thing that you would make over, or just a smidge of lip gloss? Nothing, thanks. Are you sure? It makes your lips look better when you smile. I'm not going to smile. Lou, don't you want to get fostered? Of course I do. We've got a plan. You're going along with the Tracy Beaker plan. Have you completely lost it? What are you doing? Disposing of the evidence! Else. Hope you're not paying him for this. I've been here ages and he still can't get it right. It's hard to take a decent photo of a kid who refuses to smile. All right, you two. Now, let's try again, shall we? Right, Tracy. Watch the birdie. <laughs> Fine. We'll go with what we've got then. Tracy, you're done. Can you send Louise in, please? But when are we going to write my ad? Oh, I've already written it. What? You're a social worker, not a writer. You like it? Listen. Tracy is a lively, healthy, chatty ten-year-old who's been in care for a number of years. She has a few behavioural problems and needs firm, loving handling in a long-term foster home. Is that the best you could say? That I'm healthy? I say you're lively too. That's grown-up code for difficult. And how could you put all the stuff about behavioural problems? Your aunt stinks and I hate it. Only mad people are going to want to foster me and it'll all be your fault. Tracy, wait. Lively? You want to put that in capitals and underline it. I'm sorry, Tracy. She's your social worker. It's up to her what gets written. No! Louise, that's a pretty name, but you've got a pretty smile to go with it. Oh no, not another one who don't know how to smile. Come on, sweetheart. You can do better than that. Fantastic. Alright, Mike. Maxie's in there. Courgettes. Alright, now, Maxie. Yo, Bika, what's going on? Elaine the Pain's written totally cruddy stuff for my child of the week ad, so I'm redoing it. How many L's in Brilliant? Two. Wish I had a decent photo to go with it. Why don't you take your own? I would if I had a camera. Where are you going? You only just got here. Do you want a camera or not? Oh, Elaine, I want to see Tracy's ad. She's very upset about it. You can't think why. 
Anyway, it's on your desk. I'm just going to drop Brian off at the station. We'll talk when I get back. By the way, your toilet seems to be blocked. I've written a new ad! We're going with the one I've written, Tracy. You'll like it once you see the pictures written with the words. I left it with Jenny. I'll just show you. Next time you do courgettes, could you make them a little bit more flush friendly? They haven't. <sighs> Louise Govan, you traitor. Look at this. We had a pack to look really sad, so people would want to come and rescue us. Don't know that that looks doing you any favours, Beaker. But it's your ad. Shall we? You've got one. Where from? Do you want to talk or take photos? Ah, you're going for the smile then. Yeah, you're right. This is the look that's going to get me fostered. People all around the world are going to be desperate to foster me when they see my new advert. Slimy green stuff. Thanks, guys. And I'm over that. We'll have them for tea. I was going to do pizza and chips, but if you'd rather have these, I'm good with that. Now, shall I fry them, roast them, stew them, or cut out the middleman and stuff them straight down the toilet? Sorry, Duke. We did try to tell you. I know. I didn't listen. We'll call it quits. But if you ever pick my vegetables again without permission, I'll boil them for a week and make you suck the mush up through a straw. Just passing through, are we, Tracy? What are you doing with that? Well, at least it's right now. Have you a place in your hearts for dear little Tracy? Brilliant and beautiful, this sweet little girl needs a loving home. Very rich parents prefer it as poor little Tracy needs lots of expensive presents to make up for her tragic past. Tracy, you've ruined it. What have you done to poor Louise? Who wants to foster Louise? She's very shy but could be rewarding. Tracy Beaker, you're a one-off. Of course I am. I'm not just child of the week. I am child of the year. Thank you.